Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition since collapsing on the field two nights ago. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has been following the story for us today. He's in the newsroom now. Steve, any word from his family showing uh, and any signs of improvement? Yeah, that's the big question. And according to reports, the family uh, says that Hamlin is showing progress towards recovery. He's still in intensive care, still on a ventilator, but it's only needed half the time as opposed to the entire time just 24 hours ago. Today, the NFL tried to get back to normal slowly. NFL teams returned to practice today with heavy hearts. I'm just opening it up for the guys to speak. Um, Obviously, our doctors were in there if they had any questions for the docs. I had a medical uh, people talk, and I had our team psychologist, Dr. Lonnie, speak, and then I had our um, team chaplain, John Paul, um, speak and say a prayer. Dable showed his support by wearing a hat with Hamlin's number. Dable was the Bills' offensive coordinator last season. I haven't been around the young man, know him, know the type of person he is. Um, yeah, it's tough. The outpouring of support has been remarkable. Fans gathered outside the stadium to pray for Hamlin's recovery. His charity has received more than $6 million in donations. And in a show of solidarity, every NFL team changed their Twitter logo to pray for DeMar with his number three. Thoughts and prayers to, to him, to his family, to the t Bills teammates and his friends, you know, all over, and some of them are, are in this locker room. The NFL says the personnel on the field did everything right to save the life of Hamlin. On today's Zoom call, one NFL executive didn't share his video screen, but you don't need to see him to feel his emotion. There's no playbook for managing, like, real-time drama and emotions associated with immediate life-threatening event that occurred on Monday night. And in that Zoom call, the league says it is just now diving into whether or not the game will be played at some point or canceled entirely. They'll have the details on that by the end of the week. But Maurice and Christine, of course, the main concern is clearly the health of DeMar Hamlin. And we're all crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. Truly. Absolutely. All right. Steve, thank you.